Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins. I'm the hypnotist. And let's go do some random hypnosis. See you in just a second. All right. So, I'm going to jump over to Tiny Chat real quick. And again, forgive me for the uh, the different things you will see. Pick random chat, random chat. Here, scroll, 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 and random. Nope. Actually, I've done the summit before, so scroll, scroll, scroll. Karma, Fate, Destiny, 1 Jasper 1. Yeah, that'll work. Zoom. Haha, <laughs> Code Primate. Uh, the Hypnotist. There we go. Nothing crazy going on inside the room? All right. Very good. Let's change the window. Let's change the re region. Because I don't want to catch like all the screen. We just want this. There we go. Everybody on cam? Good deal. Um, testing one, two, testing, okay. Mic's still on. Very good. And here we go. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Jelly. So right now there's just a there's a whole bunch of people chatting down in the chat room waiting for somebody to acknowledge to get an interest I might have to move this along. The caption for the room reads, What you put in the world comes back to you. How you live your life determines what kind of life you will have. Each of your choices, your own destiny. Live life. Be free. Okay. Okay. So we have um, Mother... F <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say these names out loud. But for the most part, it doesn't look like anything too crazy is going on.
You guys still see everything on camera? Good. Good deal. Looks like there's a guy named WTF and it looks like he's trolling the room. Just yelling and screaming. But I don't see him actually cammed up, so... like they're going to take the bait. Well, not bait. doesn't look like anybody's actually interested, so. I'll give them 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nobody. All right. Good night, everybody. Boom. Any response to the good night? Any response? Nope. Okay. Back to tiny chat. And scroll, 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 scroll. Random, 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 random room. Going to a random room. Random. And click. Whoa, what did I hit? Oh, oh. <laughs> BBW Social 2. Um, just so you know, BBW stands for Big Beautiful Women. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that's a joke. Please, please tell me that's a joke. I'm the Alec one. Shut up! Shut up! Let's just jump straight in. I got Montana and something else that begins with M in Canada confused. What's the other one that begins with M? In Montreal. 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 That's it. <laughs> Like, every day, like, today, like, because I, I work at customer, and, like, we're always shipping things everywhere. So I'm looking at my map on my cubicle wall, and I'm like, where is Louisiana? Is it next to Texas? It is. I learned today. How? Wait, what? What? I'm so confused. How did you not? Oh, no. Connection has been lost. Reconnect in six, five, never I mind. I don't go anywhere. The only places I've ever been in New York, Florida, and California. And there's a whole country in between those states that I have no idea where they are. No, no idea. Exist. See, I've been to Start 40 go, 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 of go, go, the go. 50 states, so I kind of have an idea of where everything is, but... Re no, really. Nice I know, like, the perimeter. I know Florida, all the East Coast, uh, the South, and the West Coast, but then everything in the middle is kind of a question. Nikki, I don't blame you because I've only got, what, seven states in my country, and I have a hard time remembering those. Hopefully I've not Did my mic just cut out? <laughs> no, we can still hear you. <sighs> I'm beginning... Yeah, uh... I'm beginning to think that these videos are going to be very boring. I don't even... I don't know. <sighs> oh, well. See, I used to make maps me. for my last job, so I got really good at memorizing counties, states, and zip codes. So I don't know if that helped me, but... It, I, I just don't understand that sometimes. Um, I, that could help. I would see how that would help. Um, one of my interview, like, I sat down on my interview for the job that I have now, and they gave me a, bl this was my worst nightmare. They gave me a blank map of the United States and asked me to name everything with an abbreviation and then mark the capital. See, I, I do have that as no fun. no idea how I got hired. <laughs> and I get 50 out of 50 every time, just for fun. I don't know why. I just love doing that. I don't know. Good That's evening, it. everyone. 
Well, don't you motherfucking come Hi here and hypnotize people. Well, that was actually my point. Uh, be sure you're not an open mic, too, no, okay? Okay. Be Thanks, pretty guys. Have a good night. Right now I'm stoned as shit. <laughs> No, um, my name is The Hypnotist. I go around to random rooms, and I actually perform hypnosis. So, if you guys don't want to, that's cool. I'll, uh, I'll jump out. I'm very I'll, susceptible I'll to hypnosis, so you can try me, but, hey, you can try me. Do you want to? I mean, first question. <laughs> uh, how mind? does this work? Are you going to send me off to Never Everland? No, I, I basically I walk you through a process that's going to happen inside your own mind. It's um, think of it as guided meditation. Fuck it, I'm about this live. Let's do it. Excellent. Thank you guys. All uh, right. You do Thank you, you do all of us at the same time? Right. Oh wow, that sounded that sounded wrong. <laughs> it's whoever would like to participate. Um, just so you know, I am recording, and you will be on my YouTube page. Um, if you'd like to participate. Uh, just listen to my voice, follow my instructions. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Hypnosis is completely choice, okay? A um, couple of things I got to jump out and... Yeah, go ahead. Hey, I'm going to smoke a cigarette real quick while you talk about the process. Absolutely. Um, oh, no, no, no. no. I, am, I, I was just saying I'm down. Okay. Um, okay, I'll, I'll get rid of the mysticism. Hypnosis is not magic. It is not um, mysticism. There's nothing unnatural about it. There's four states of the mind that your brain can go to. It's alpha, beta, theta, delta. Alpha is extremely awake. It's about 180 cycles per second per wave. And you can think of this as being in the middle of a big city, seven lane traffic, rush hour. You're in the far left hand lane, you need to go over to the right hand lane in less than half a mile. You're gripping the steering wheel, you're signaling, you're looking in the mirrors. Extremely awake. Beta, it's about 80 cycles per second, and this is the normal thinking state of the brain. When you're awake, you're probably in beta. Um, you can think of this as getting away from the big city, and you're driving down two-lane traffic. It's light traffic. You can turn on the radio. You can look around at the scenery. You're not really concentrated on driving, but you're still you're participating in the driving process. So that's beta. Theta is a weird, dreamy state. This is where the subconscious and the conscious mind begin to separate. Um, normal function starts to get taken over by subconscious thought, and you daydream. You can think of this as going down a road that you've been down a thousand times, and it's been a long day, and you're just thinking about all the stuff you got to do when you get home, and you missed your turn. Why did you miss that turn that you've taken a thousand times? Why did you walk into another room and forget what you went in there for? That's theta. That's the state that I take people to. It's not magic. It's not mind control. And it can happen to everybody. In fact, you do it just before you go to sleep. And you do it just before you wake up. Every single day. And then the last state is delta. And that's sleep. I won't get into it because we're not going to go there. All right? So, my name is The Hypnotist. I've been practicing um, forms of hypnosis for... <laughs> I won't, I promise. I've been practicing hypnosis for 13 years. Um, I do have a YouTube channel, and you guys are being recorded, and I will broadcast it once I'm done, um, no matter how it goes. Even if it's good hypnosis, bad hypnosis, it doesn't matter. A um, couple of things. You can't get stuck in hypnosis. You're going to be in control the entire time. Simply follow my instructions, follow my voice, and you're going to have a wonderful experience, I promise. So, if you'd like to participate in hypnosis, um, I'm going to perform what's called a suggestibility test. To do this, take both your hands, place them together just like this, interlocking the fingers nice and tight. Good. Bring that up to a 90 degree angle just in front of your face. Perfect. Take your index fingers and place them directly up in front of you just like so. Good. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to ask that you separate your fingers and begin to stare at the gap in between your fingers. When you do, do not look at the camera. I need you to focus and concentrate on that gap. Go ahead and separate your fingers now. 
And as you stare at the gap in between your fingers, I'd like for you to imagine that both of your fingers have just become powerful magnets. And you're going to feel those magnets pulling closer and closer and closer together now inside your mind, allowing those fingers to eventually come together. At this point, you can smile. This is an awkward feeling. This is what's called a waking suggestion as it gets closer and closer and closer. Good. Until they touch, and they will eventually touch. When they do touch, just allow them to begin to press and stick in place. Allow the fingertips to press. Allow the bottom of the finger to start to press. Feel your palms begin to press. Feel your fingers beginning to lock, stick, stuck in place, becoming tighter and tighter and tighter. And you could try to pull your fingers apart, but you'll find the harder you try, the more they will stick. The harder you try, the more they will stick. Try now. Try and pull those fingers apart and find that they stick tighter and tighter. Good. You can smile. This, this is an awkward feeling. That's okay. Good. Go ahead and stop trying. Look at me. Stop focusing on your fingers. I need you to look at me and allow those fingers to come apart now. Loose, limp. Very good. So what you just experienced is what's called a waking suggestion. All right, it's it's a form of hypnosis. It's used in marketing. It's used in um, advertising presentations all the time. Jersey, allow your fingers to come apart. Allow your hands to come apart. There you go. Good. So who thought that was weird? Yeah. <laughs> All right. It, All right. It is. It's suggestibility test. This is actually how I do my stage performances, and I do stage um, street performances. I always do a suggestibility test first to see if somebody's actually suggestible. If you have somebody that sits there and is like, "Ah, I don't believe in it. You can't do that." Now I'm not going to put my hands together. It doesn't work. So, if you'd like to participate. Find a comfortable place. If you're on a laptop, please make sure that you have power plugged in and make sure that your screensaver is turned off. I'll give you just a moment. Again, just as a prereq, um, this is being recorded. I think my screensaver is set for like 20 minutes. It's not going to take 20 minutes, right? Um, it, no, it shouldn't take 20 minutes. Um, I have had sessions go where I'm in the, in the mode and it's like 45 minutes later. So um, if your screensaver does come on, the, the sound will stop. So you can come out at any time, move the mouse, and go right back in. Again, this is not me doing it. This is inside your minds. So if you'd like to participate in hypnosis, go ahead and sit back in your chairs, relax, take a deep breath. And let that breath all the way out as you begin to relax 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. Good. Another deep breath all the way into the very top. And let that breath all the way out as you relax 50 times, 60 times, good. Another deep breath all the way into the very top. And this time hold it for one, two, three seconds and let that breath all the way out. And as you do so, just close your eyes and relax. Continue to breathe deep, breathe slow, and just listen to my voice. I'd like for you to imagine now a feeling of complete relaxation at the very top of your head. And allow this feeling of relaxation to begin to move down across your forehead and down across your eyebrows to all the muscles around your eyes becoming loose, limp, and relaxed. Good. Allow this feeling of relaxation as it begins to move into your cheeks and into your jaw and into the muscles around your mouth, becoming loose, limp, and relaxed. Good. 
Allow this feeling of relaxation to sink down into your neck. As you sit comfortably, relax and listen to my voice. Good. Allow this feeling of relaxation to begin to move down the back of your head, starting at the very top and moving down, down, down to the bottom of your neck. Good. Allow this feeling of relaxation as it begins to move into your shoulders and down into your arms. First the upper arm, then down, down, down into the lower arm. Allow the forearms to become loose, limp, and relaxed. Good. Feel that relaxation moving into your hands and down into your fingertips and finally out of your body. Allow this feeling of relaxation to begin to move into your back and your shoulder blades, your upper back and down, down, down into your lower back. As you continue to breathe deep, breathe slow, and just relax. Good. Allow this feeling of relaxation to move into your chest now as it becomes loose, limp, and relaxed and moves down into your abdomen. Good. Allow this feeling of relaxation to begin to move into your thighs. First the front of the thighs, then the back of the thighs, and down, down, down into your calves. Allow that feeling to melt, drift, loose, limp, as it goes down into your feet. Good. And finally, allow this complete feeling of relaxation as it becomes warm over your entire body, as if being wrapped in a blanket, safe and secure. Good. In just a moment, I'm going to begin counting down from five. With every number that I count, I'd like for you to imagine going down a flight of stairs. With every step becoming more loose, limp, and relaxed, traveling down. Five. Starting down. Every step more relaxed. Good. Allowing every muscle to become loose, limp, and relaxed. Four. Continuing down, deeper, and deeper. Good. Three. Traveling down every step. Good. Two. Like a rag doll that has no bones, it has no muscles, it does not support itself, you lie loose, limp, and relaxed. Good. One. Traveling down to the last step. Good. Now when I count the last number, I'd like for you to imagine that I've removed the stairs and you're going to drop right the way down, right the way deep to the most relaxed state that you've ever felt before. Zero. Right the way down. Good. And just lie loose, limp, relaxed. Get used to this feeling. And in a moment, I'd like for you to imagine a door in front of you now. Step through the door and into a white room. This is going to be your room. It's a place inside your own mind where you can make it as big or as small as you'd like. You can come here to think, to relax, or to just be. This is your room. It's safe. It's secure. 
Now, you may have started placing stuff in the room. Go ahead and stop. I'd like for you to just make this room blank for a moment. Good. From this point forward, any time I snap my fingers and say the word sleep, I'd like for you to return to the state. Right the way down, right the way deep, back into your room. Again, from this point forward, any time I snap my fingers and say the word sleep, I'd like for you to return to this room. Nod your head when you've accepted this suggestion. Good. Good. Now in just a moment to take you even deeper, I'm going to perform what's called fraxation. Fraxation has the same idea as an alarm clock. When an alarm clock goes off in the morning, you wake up, you hit the snooze button, you go back to sleep. The second time the alarm clock goes off, you wake up, even more tired, more sleepy than before. You hit the snooze button and go back to sleep. Then the last time that the alarm clock goes off, you wake up so tired, so sleepy, it's like you didn't even get a good night's rest. You hit the snooze button and go back to sleep. To do this, what I will do, I will count up from one to three. I will say eyes open wide awake. You'll come back to the room, but you will remain completely loose, limp, and relaxed. Once I see that your eyes have opened, I'll snap my fingers and say the word sleep and take you back down into your room. Here we go. One, two, three. Eyes open wide awake. Come back into the room. Very good, good. And sleep right the way down, right the way deep. Good, back into your room. Loose, limp, and relaxed. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake, come back into the room. Good, sleep right the way down, right the way deep. Perfect, you're doing wonderful. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake, come back into the room. Good, and sleep all the way down. Good. I'd like for you to imagine now, on your left wrist, I begin to tie a balloon. You can make it whatever color you'd like, but you feel it as it ties around your left wrist. I begin to fill up the balloon bigger and bigger as you begin to feel that lifting, tugging, pulling on your wrist. And as long as it takes for it to happen, the hand will drift, float up, 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 with every second getting higher and higher and higher. And as it drifts up, it's comfortable. It's n there's no discomfort whatsoever. It's a lovely feeling as the hand drifts upper, up, up. Good. And when it wants, that hand can just stop and hang there comfortably. Good. Now in just a moment, I will clap my hands. When I do, the balloon will pop, your hand will drop. You will drop even deeper, more loose, limp, and relaxed than before. Again, when I clap my hands, the balloon will pop, your hand will drop, and you will drop even deeper. Here we go. Now. Good. Going deeper and deeper. Excellent subjects on camera. Uh, continue to relax, loose, limp, go back into your room, and just enjoy this moment while I talk. I'm going to address the rest of the room. From this point forward, you may hear other sounds. You may hear other people talk. This will not disturb you. In fact, it's going to relax you even more right the way down. Good. So what I've done is... Um, with my four different subjects here, I've placed them into a hypnotic state. It doesn't feel like hypnosis. There's nothing different about it. It's very relaxed. It's very comfortable. And it's just a wonderful place to be in. If you've ever done meditation, if you've ever done yoga, um, that's the same feeling. You can experience this during waking periods of your life, whenever you're at work and you get in the zone. Or if you've ever done running and you're 
you're doing a three mile run and you're in the zone. That is the same thing. It's, it's this narrowing focus where you become so concentrated, so zoned in on something that the rest of the world just kind of blurs away. That's what's happened here. They focused on my voice and it started from the very beginning. As soon as I asked them to breathe in, they began to follow along. Now, at this point, each one of them is still in control of their own minds. They still have consciousness. They can still hear me talking. There's nothing different. They're just extremely relaxed and very susceptible to suggestion. So, for you four that I'm addressing now, I'd like for you to take your left hand and place it on the top of your head. Take your left hand and place it on top of your head now. Good. I'd want, what I'd like for you to do is imagine that hand becoming stuck, sticking in place tighter and tighter and tighter. You will not be able to remove that hand until I remove my hand from my head. It's as if somebody has glued it, stuck it in place, tighter and tighter. Good. One, two, three, eyes open wide awake. Come back into the room. And give that a good tug and feel how stuck it has become. An awkward feeling. Tighter and tighter. Good. Try reaching up with your other hand to give it a tug. Try and pull it off. And feel it getting tighter and tighter. Try and pull that hand off. Now, do any of you believe that you're hypnotized? You don't feel hypnotized, do you? No? Then you should be able to pull your hand off. Now. Very good. Nikki, I'm going to take you a little bit deeper. I think you got it distracted at the very beginning. Angel, very good. Buck, I don't know what happened. I think you're stoned. That's okay. Jersey? Very good subject, very susceptible. This means you have great imagination. You're very creative. You probably do something very creative in your life. So with that in mind, everybody take a deep breath and sleep right the way down, right the way deep. Good. Just relax back down into your room. For everyone else, continue to deepen Go deeper, relax. For Nikki, listen to my voice. Good. Take both of your hands and place them directly out in front of you now, Nikki only. I'd like for you to take your left hand and place it palm up. Your right hand, place it palm down. Good. Close your eyes and I'd like for you to imagine now that in the palm up hand, I place a brick on the back of your wrist. On the palm down hand, I place a balloon on your wrist. I want you to imagine this in your mind as you begin to feel it. As one gets heavier and the other gets lighter. Heavier, lighter, heavier, lighter. Now, continue the feeling as I add a second balloon, I add a second brick. Heavier, lighter, heavier, lighter. Very good. And in just a moment, all those muscles are going to relax when you sleep right the way down, right the way deep. Good. Back into your room. Excellent. Very good subjects here. From this point forward, anything I say will instantly and automatically become your reality, no matter how strange, no matter how weird it sounds. Anything I say will instantly and automatically become your reality. When you see my e-cig, it's a vapor pen, it's going to be green, and it's going to be bright, and it's going to be the funniest thing that you've ever seen. With every passing second, it's going to get funnier and funnier and funnier. You don't know why. It's just natural. It's going to come. It's going to get funnier and funnier and funnier. With every second that you see it, you're going to begin to giggle to yourself like a little schoolgirl. It's going to get funnier and funnier and funnier. You're going to not be able to help but laugh out loud. It's going to be the biggest lull that you've ever had. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake. Come back into the room. Good. Welcome back. Welcome back. So... Whenever I do hypnosis, 
I usually try and give people an experience of some kind. And whatever that experience is, whatever it entails, my best subjects are the creative ones, the ones with the best imaginations, the ones that are susceptible to this. And as this becomes funnier and funnier and funnier, very good. And that feeling can go away as soon as it's gone. You just return back to normal. Good. Funnier and funnier and funnier. Laughing out loud with every second. Very good. And gone. Jersey's very good at this. Angel, Nikki, very relaxed. But I don't think you're in. Jersey, you are definitely in the state of hypnosis. Do you feel hypnotized? Okay. For you three, we're going to play a game. From this point forward... This sounds, point forward, this sounds a little bit rapey, but whatever. So. From this point forward, oh, I'll God. snap my fingers. I will snap my fingers and say the word sleep, and I will give you five seconds. But the thing is, when I reach the number five, no matter how hard you try, you're going to return right the way down, right the way deep, back into your state, back into your room. I'll give you five seconds to try and stay awake, but no matter how hard you try, you will go back into the state. Let's play. Sleep. One, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake, come back into the room. Okay, maybe you weren't ready. We'll try it again. Ready? Sleep. One, two, three, four, five. Loose, limp, and relaxed. Good. One more time. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake. <laughs> Relaxing right the way down. Good. And sleep. One, two, three, four, five. Good. You two can hang out and just go deeper and just relax. Nikki, thank you so much for participating. I'm going to ask that you stay awake from this point forward. Good. Before I bring you up, I'm going to clear the snap induction. The snap induction will no longer bring you back into the state unless it's performed in a professional manner by me or by another hypnotist. Snap induction is cleared, so no one else can use it. When I bring you back out of the state of hypnosis, you're going to feel like you just had a 10-hour nap and a 5-hour full-body massage. You're going to feel wonderful like you just got back from the spa. Again, 10-hour nap, 5-hour full-body massage. To bring you out, I will count up from one to five. With every number that I count, we're going to bring that energy back into your body. One, feel that energy come back into your feet, back into your calves. Two, feel the energy come back into your thighs, back into your abs. Three, feel the energy in your chest as you fill your lungs. Four, feel oh, the yeah. energy down into your arms, down into your hands. Five, feel it in your head, eyes open, wide awake, back into the room. Wonderful. Everybody give them a round of applause. Thank you, guys. How do you feel? Yo, Jersey was in it. Very relaxed. I highly regret not coming in when I first noticed what was happening. <laughs> Again, my name is well, the hypnotist. I was going to tell you, um, hypnotist. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, I don't know. I'm lagging. No, I'm lagging really bad. I'm sorry. But um, I watch ASMR every night. Do you know of ASMR? I don't know what that is. You don't? Hmm. Uh... Uh, I can't even say it right now. Autotomic um, Meridian Sensory Response. It's pretty much like hypnotism videos. 
to go to sleep and it's a bunch of like people just like using binaural microphones to go from ear to ear and they pretty much just like talk and whisper until you fall asleep. And I and I do that all the time, so I think I'm pretty susceptible to hypnotism. I think that this is a really worthwhile endeavor as far as experimentation, but I don't know if it's the right, um, uh, I don't know, like the venue might be a little bit Forum. like awkward just because of where we are, you know, in this like virtual social setting. Oh, yeah. But I really do appreciate you checking that out. That's really cool. Thank oh, you. Oh, that shit was like mad cool. Until, like, the fucking weed kicked in and I passed out. <laughs> TV, the weed kicked in Buck, with you way you. long ago. No, the last thing I heard was, like, the balloon's gonna make your head float. And then it was like, fuck the bullshit, I'm going to bed. <laughs> He's all like, oh, look, the balloons. <laughs> no, but, like, I, I really like the, the going down the steps part was really effective for me because I have a terrible fear of going downstairs. Mm-hmm. I, I actually use, um... Whenever I'm walking people through the hypnotic process, there's a lot of different techniques that I use that are all combined into one. Um, some people just do a single one, but I perform the deep breathing, the um, focused relaxation, and then I do the imaginary down the steps. And then I use the room as like an anchor once I get people down there. Um, whenever I'm speaking, I'm actually using three different hypnotic chants that I've, I've learned over the years. Um, the first one is loose, limp, and relaxed. The other one is right the way down, right the way deep. And the third is like a rag doll with no bones. It has no muscles. A ASMR, that's... Um, yes. Does it have two sets of headphones and like uh, a pair of glasses that goes over the front? The what? I'm sorry. Um, my the microphone. That's okay. No, that shit was mad cool. Like I feel mad relaxed, yo. Like I ain't on the bullshit though. Mhm. I'm kind of mad that I didn't. <laughs> I want to stay in that state though. Like that super well, heavy. I like I fell asleep because it was cool. <laughs> I've got so many PMs. But I do have to pee, oh. and I'm sorry. Yeah, I do too. I've been drinking water all night, so I don't get parched. <laughs> Jersey, you had a question? I've been drinking wine for about an No, hour. I just had a statement. I don't know about the rest of you, but I feel amazing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, I will yep. upload. Uh, just look up... Here, actually. Yeah, you have to link us to your YouTube. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Please don't auto-ban for the uh, YouTube nice stuff. Nice to meet you, bro. No, no, you won't auto-ban, bro. All right, go back to my channel. And I have other stuff on there, too. So just find the one for the playlist, and I'll make it happen. There we go. And there you go. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. You too, hit the room. Thank you. So that was a lovely room, lovely experience going on. Had uh, four people, actually. So. I mean, I wonder what, like, state of mind you're in when you're, um, like, a psychedelic, because I've been in that state, too, where you're just <laughs> in another world. Yeah, bro. Like, if that shit would have just happened to me on acid, I would have tripped Major Ballsack. <laughs> okay, let's jump out of the room. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's go into webcam. Webcam. Hello, me. So again, if you'd like to experience it, whenever you see me jump into a room, or if you find me performing somewhere, just jump in, have fun. And I'm the hypnotist. Have a good night. Bye.